Hi there, I am Santosh Singh and welcome to Android Developer Mastery. So in this part we are going to talk about our first tab in Android Studio. So this is our first tab, Numerology. It is based on number astrology which provides information based on your birth lucky number. It has a layout, linear layout which contains the four things, text view, number picker, button and text view that show your result when we click in button. So now we need to implement this app in Android Studio. So this is the Android Studio welcome screen. Just click here, start a new Android project and name it, hit next. Select your minimum SDK. Then select empty activity that the default selected here. Then finish. So now our app is ready to use. Let's move on project view. So this is project view which contains two things, app module and a Gradle scripts. App module contains three packages. First is manifest, second is Java and third is RES. So in manifest, we have a single file which we call Android manifest XML. It provides the basic information about your application such as package name, name, icon, theme, activity, services and uh, receivers. So we talk about later this thing after that we have a java package that contains three sub package first package part of your project where your main activity xml situated and other two things a part of testing first is android testing and other is unit testing next thing res res stand for resources it contains all kind of resource of your application except java classes so it has a drawable layout map map values we talk about later these things but resources combination of xml and a png file mostly we have a gradle script here which contains a three dot gradle file first is built gradle for project second is built gradle for module mostly we work with module built gradle file because it allows you to manage your project such as first section is the android section where you manage your sdk version and change your minimum sdk target sdk version and after that we have a dependency section which allows you to add or remove any kind of dependency you don't like or you don't wanna add in your project and now we have a setting grid of where you add or remove multiple modules if you wanna add multiple modules in your project then you need to use setting grader and add that module after your basic module so this is our application UI design and you can see in this design all widgets vertically aligned in a center here so uh, I'm gonna set this design layout first and uh, I need to set linear layout orientation vertical and uh, gravity center this thing when I set the alignment set properly and after that we going to create this background which I call a gradient background so I need to create a XML file in drawable and create a gradient background by calling gradient tag and after that I set background property in linear layout by calling drawable XML file and then this color set into it so we talk about this thing later now we are going to make this thing first now we are going to create our design so first target res package and then select the layout and here it is activity main xml file this is your xml code and this is your design of that xml file so first thing we need to change this layout because this is the constant layout that by default added in your app so change this thing remove this thing and add linear layout as you can see our uh, hello world tag uh, alignment change it top in the left side now so we need to add a, a linear layout orientation because every linear layout requires orientation horizontal or vertical to add a gravity center and just remove this redundancy so now we need to add background into it first thing is that uh, select drawable and right click here and select your drawable resource from near add name then change your selector tag into shape and add, add and add shape rectangle then call gradient as you can see I add this thing 
whenever you want to change uh, your color just select this color background and then choose whatever color you need that's it now we need to add this thing into our layout just call background property and add the red travel gradient here it is first thing achieved now before we start adding widgets I wanna show you some things whenever you wanna add any kind of uh, whenever you need to add a string value into text just uh, remember that you have to create that uh, string value into string like that I create that text caption and uh, like that name it text message and uh, between these tags add uh, hello world and call this thing in a text add the add a string text message like that this is it so this is the first rule about uh, adding a string into your XML and so next thing is that whenever you work with multiple text views or buttons that properties are similar mostly minimum three properties or two properties similar you need to add everywhere and you don't need to change this thing so what you need to do that you just create a style for particular text view and uh, style name text view and then you call that under remove this thing and you call that by style and uh, text view and paste this thing under every text view that's it you don't need to write ev in every text view same code just create a single style and then that style works in all way just put that style into every text view that's it like that so now move on one more thing you need to add uh, uh, if you wanna add color uh, like string we have a string uh, colors xml file just create a color name uh, variable name and uh, put the color like uh, one two three and then choose that color such as you need white and select that thing and after that put that color here at the red color at the red color white that's it so this is the essential thing about android values color strings and styles so you learn that thing and after that I am going to add our required widgets that helps you to understand what's going on here. So I am gonna grab my code from uh, my website actually my blog and uh, here it is the link below this code here available for you copy that thing and add here. As you can see after adding our widgets here we have an error that shows button text string value not created into strings let's create from here like uh, press key option plus return in macbook or in a windows uh, alt plus enter so if you don't know just select this thing and create and add the value that you wanna show shows result as you can see it appears now our app is ready to use and uh, I'm gonna implement Java before we start you gonna find something ID that uh, I add into number picker button and text view the ID property allows you to grab that thing in Java uh, implementation as an object so remember that I need these three things open Java and go main activity and just remember that if you know about java first we create object and then on create method so call this thing first number picker button text view and initialize here as you can see 
I select ID then uh, type number figure it appears and then button and same as text field back. after that you need to add a minimum maximum number in number picker because number picker is empty now and add listener in button button set on click listener and type new and press first word O then on click listener appear just click here and it create everything now you need to implement your method however we don't have any database till now so we need to create our database java first package select that package and then new and select java class name it numerology so i just grab database from my blog and here it is the my database with class just copy this thing and remove and then paste this thing here like that now we are ready to set so now we need to call numerology object and set it into text view call get and pass the i value under that thing now we are ready to set but remember that computer counting start with 0 and human counting start with 1 so that's why we need to remember that thing as a programmer so put minus one get value and now we are all set just run this app whenever you want to run just click FAD manager and you don't have if uh, any uh, virtual device just create here and follow the steps next next option and that appear after that and when it appears you need to run device as you can see our emulator is on you can see our app is running now and uh, when I click any number it shows the quality of that number and uh, that is awesome but I need to add one more thing which I want to say and uh, when I click here it bounce this message so I want to add animation part little bit animation before we start to create animation we need to create a package under resource which we called anim and here we need to create a directory and a resource select interpolator type anim anim is a fixed package you don't have a right to change this when you create any kind of name it not appear here so remember that thing new and add animation resource file name it box so just add a fill after true and call another property then. after that call scale as you can see I add properties in a scale so what is going on here uh, x uh, value is same and y value is changed from 0 to 1 it means x is horizontally aligned left to right and uh, y is aligned vertical top to bottom so the animation start top to bottom bouncing so that is the thing now add this thing under Java class call the animation class initialize it load animation call this and then target that bounce from r dot anime dot bounce that's it last thing text view start animation and call that object animation now we are done just run it uh, app ready to use let's see show result pretty cool so are uh, done please like share and subscribe my channel see you soon goodbye